Hello and good morning from southern Vermont. Um, I'm just a few hundred yards away from the bridge and uh, just thought I'd check in. I'm just down by the side of the West River on Route 30 and uh, I'm going to go up to the bridge and show you the, uh, the start of the bridge and the uh, 280 foot span built in 1872. So um, enjoy the uh, shots. Well, good morning from uh, a very stormy system in southern Vermont today. Um, <coughs> it's currently about 20 degrees or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I've just arrived at the largest covered bridge, I believe, in Vermont. Around 280 feet. Um, built about the same time as the one I filmed yesterday in Guildford over the Green River. This one crosses the, um, the West River and is located in uh, Dummerston. And uh, I'll just pan round, you can see the cars actually using the bridge um, one at a time. Uh, it's quite a sight when you pull up along Route 30 coming out of Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, it's, it's about 20 miles from my home and uh, I plan on doing as many as I can and time given. Um, good morning to Ron, Ronald Keyes, which is a Canadian motocross champion who's very interested in these bridges. Uh, he wants to see more of the construction and uh, I plan on going in and showing you Ron so you can check it out. Hope you all enjoy it. Okay, this is a shot of the uh the entrance to the bridge. Um, I don't know what uh, is the traffic that's in there at the moment. I've got to be careful I don't get uh, in their way of course. I've got some drone footage. I sent the drone drone up and uh, I can show you the, the actual roof. Let's move into the middle here. Built in 1872. 11 feet centre clearance and um, my friend Ron will tell me more, who did some uh, building of bridges. He will tell me more of the, uh, the construction. I don't know how well you can check out the construction via the camera. Um, but um, I'll have a walk, walk into the bridge and keep out of the, the way of the traffic and uh, see if it's not too dark how much we can see the, uh, the side walls. I'll move down by a window here and uh, zoom in so you can see the, the construction. It's quite a, quite a sight and as I said 280 feet long is um, it's quite a quite a long bridge for uh, to cross the West River into uh, Dummerston. Um, Got to watch where I'm going. It's quite dark in here. Uh, they just allow one car through at a time. That's all it's wide enough for, and um, gets people from A to B. Here's a car entering now. So he does a little pause, and then he shoots through at uh, 100 mile an hour. Right, uh, this is a bit lighter here, so Ron, you can check out the, uh, the beams and the construction of the bridge. It's, it's a lot of fun to film these bridges. They are a part of history, and uh, and should be rightly so. Uh, let's see if there's any... Okay, we're through the other side on Camp Arden Road and uh, just tells you it's a one-lane bridge 11 feet. Please turn your headlights on and uh, built in 1872. So I hope you enjoyed that trip and uh, let's see if we can get a, shot, a side shot here. Yep, you don't get the, the sense of how long it is, but uh, 
is quite a piece of work. Thanks for watching. Here's more traffic coming through. It's a very busy bridge. They, uh, they do use this bridge a lot. And of course keeps them nice and protected from all the elements in the winter time and stops it icing up and keeps the snow off, which is the whole idea of it of course. Catch you later. Here's a good shot of the West River from inside the bridge. Fairly dry at the moment because of the drought that we've gone through. Um, we are getting a lot of rain today on and off, but not enough to uh, to fill up the, uh, the river. You can see a little house there nestled, nestled in the, the wood with the Vermont roof to keep the snow off, hopefully. Okay, I'll move on and uh, take a picture from the road for you. Okay, I'm just uh, a mile or two south of the, the Dummerston Bridge, and this is the West River as it starts to enter the, the Connecticut River, which runs all the way down country. And this is the, uh, the interstate, the I-91, new bridge, or motorway as we call it in England. Quite a construction over Route 30. Uh, just been completed last year, I believe. And um, there's a little viewing point over here. The river's much wider here, and um, it's got some uh, fish in there, I believe. Worth catching. I'll take you to the viewing point over here, and we'll take check it out. So this is the little viewing point they've made for people to enjoy. And uh, being as it's a rainy day, there's no one here today. Only idiots like me out here. But it's nice and warm, and uh, during these difficult lockdown periods, this is the reason I've chosen to come out and do this, because it breaks the boredom at home. And uh, got a lot of inspiration from my friend in England, Roy, who's a photographer, who's took up video shooting, and I thought, what a great idea during these... Uh, miserable times and uh, if people are stuck at home they can check this out and it's something different from to look at um, the bridge to nature this is called I'll just take a close-up and then you can read it at your leisure it's um, the rich beauty of the Vermont trees sugar, sugar maple trees beech trees and white pine that's a tongue twister. So, um, that's a very nice bridge actually. Not just steel, they've all covered it all in to make it look to fit in with nature. Good idea. Uh, let's have a look over. Of course, somebody has to put graffiti on the benches, of course. Idiots. Symbol of the white pine. Then I'll take a shot of that and you can uh, check it out. Talk to you later.